Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be doing... Let's just be honest, this is Scorpius Rex. This is going to get fucking weird immediately. So, but as you see, we have Androtops, we have Parathops, and as you just saw there, we have Megalosuchus. And also a Janathon. The reason? Yes. J just yes. I don't fucking know why either. Alright, uh, okay, I, no, never mind, I do know why. It's because Fix, for some reason, I said, like, I think he can either get his to level 23, or it already is level 23, maybe level 22. So, just, what the fuck? What the hell? I mean, I can't really judge, I have a random ass level 23 Nota Titan, so, I can't really say shit. <laughs> but still, at least Nota Titan is some rabies, this is just a what the fuck scenario. That's also kind of due to the fact that, well, the, the Great Ferocity Strike kind of sucks. Also, it's very, it's damn near useless on Megalosutras because it's so fucking slow. At least Group Cleansing Strike actually helps because exactly that. It's so fucking slow that it actually cleanses usually before the boss. So it kind of works. It's not the best, but it it's something in raids. The the emergency heal though is ass. Like what the? F I mean, it's okay, but like, why? What? Where the fuck does that come from? I mean, I guess no. Actually, it doesn't make sense. Why the fuck does it have heal? None of its components have it. I know. I think Abrasukas used to have it, but none of its. None of its components now do, so why is it there? Not only that, why is that not a fucking group move as well? Because it's kind of what whole kid is. Group. And yet the one move that really should be group uh, isn't. For whatever reason. Also, it's just kind of shit in general with having really bad stats. Like, it's considered one of the worst legendaries in the game, and for a good fucking reason... It is garbage. So run 3,600 speed, 1,000 damage, 109 speed, no armor, 5% crit, and only immune B-cell and 50% re resistant to uh, reduced distraction. Or, sorry, reduced uh, vulnerability. Yeah, it's only counter is armor-piercing counter, and it barely gets anything from Gorgosutras. Actually, it really kind of doesn't get shit, to be honest. I mean, it gets Group Cleansing Strike from Caprasuchus, Group Ferocity Strike from Caprasuchus, I think. Fierce Impact is, uh, well, Fierce Impact. It, it's okay. I've already talked about Emergency Heal. But overall, it's, its health is just trash. What the fuck is this bad? Megalosaurus has 3,900 and Gorgosuchus has 4,500. Why isn't it higher? What the fuck? Although, I will say, it is one of the better looking legendaries. It does look kind of cool. Although, they did kind of copy-paste uh, Alicino's design, just turn it brown. Like, it has a yellow and blue stripe. It, almost exactly where Alicino has it. <laughs> it, it. It looks great. It is somewhat of a copy-paste, or they just, you know, copy off each other. At least from what I... Uh, was Alicino's sort? Hold on, let me find out when Alicino's source came in the game. Okay, they're both in the same patch, so they kind of mix and match up each other, I guess. Still, though, Megalosuchus needs a buff. It, it, it looks great, but it's so bad, and it really shouldn't be. Honestly, it's kind of sad, really. Well, it's not only that, I think Gorgosuchus... Oh, no, I was wrong. Gorgosuchus has 1,000 damage. What the fuck? Not only that, it also has 120 speed and 30% crit chance. What the f- Why is the crit chance and speed so low? Like, the damage I can kind of see? Megalosaurus has 1,000. Gorgosaurus has 1,000 somehow. Even though Gorgosaurus has 1,700 and Cabra has 1,000. So why the fuck isn't that higher? Megalosaurus is just a mess. Completely, uh, uh, just a complete fucking mess. Please, Lydia, change this bitch. Like, no, really. What the fuck? 
Please, just give this thing a buff. Uh, also, Group Ferocity Strike really needs a change. It's just trash. You get it for two turns, and then you have to wait another whole, uh, more, another two turns for it to even come back off of cooldown. Not only that, but given Megalosuchus has a counter, it's not that helpful. Plus, um, yeah, it's just... I mean, I guess it could work with the low speed and then you can just heal yourself. But I mean, at that point, just why? But, okay, really with Group Ferocity Strike, personally, either A, increase the effects to actually be worth a goddamn three-turn cooldown, or B, you know, just put it down to two. And that also help it a lot in raids. Because then, you know, because the issue is with a three-turn cooldown... Because that usually kills most raid strats. Because most of the time, you want them to be about, you know, obviously, two to three turns. So, having this on a three-turn cooldown just completely fucks it over for literally every single creature. Because you can't use it in raids because it's too long to cooldown. And then, you also just can't use it in PvP because not only is it complete trash... Because it lasts for two turns, two attacks, and that and one of those attacks is the fucking move itself attacking. So, but then you also just you also have to worry about again three turn cooldown. It's just overall, Grim Ferocity Strike is just bad. Like at least Ferocious Impact and Ferocious Strike, you know, actually last long enough to where it makes fucking sense to have a three turn cooldown. But they literally just copy pasted the cooldown, copy pasted the attack, and tar and what it targets, changed the what changed the buff to target the team, and just went, eh, fuck it, two turns, two attacks. What? Huh? Excuse me, bitch. At least with group cleansing fatal strike, it it actually it warrants that three turn buff. And if you're fast enough, it also works. Issue is, you know, that speed. You're not always going to get it, but, you know, sometimes it works. But the issue here is, you know, it doesn't last for damn near long enough. Like, really. Either knock off the cooldown, I prefer that personally, or buff the number of turns and attacks. And personally, I definitely knock the cooldown down to two. And if they were to touch that, I'd say probably three turns, three attacks. Just because Megalosuchus has it. That is legitimately it. Because it is the only creature to actually have a counterattack with that move. So, just for Megalosuchus, just put it at three turns, three attacks. For fuck's sake, please. I mean, that, honestly, in my opinion, would definitely help out at least a little bit. Anyways, thanks to the raid. How the fuck is this actually working so far? We're on, we're on turn two. The beans are almost dead. Well, sorry, we're not on turn two. We're on round two. That cool is fucking dead. Like, there's no two ways around it. He, he's fucked. Because, for, for whatever reason, Acrocanthops has taunt immunity, so... That little shield over there does shit. <laughs> because it's only... It's only on that Noto. So, that Kool-Aid is fucked. Dot. Oh, that's another thing. Why the fuck doesn't Megalosaurus have any distraction resistance? Megalosaurus is completely immune. Where the fuck? Why the fuck and how the fuck? Does it not have at least 50% distraction resistance? Come on, Lydia. Why are you doing this to Megalosuchus? Like, really? What the hell? I will say, though, this, the Fierce Impact is probably the best and only really good move move set uh, choice out of Megalosuchus' entire kit, which is kind of sad. Because, again... Group Frosty Strike is complete ass. Why? Why does it exist? So, uh, what's he doing? I think he's doing... Oh, great, he's doing group cutting impact. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes my damage. 
Because, I mean, at least in Acrocanthus, at least in Acrocanthops, it kind of, it somewhat makes sense. You, you trade off distraction immunity and crit chance reduction immunity, and you gain 33% stun, immune to taunt, and 50% bleed. Somehow. I can, I mean, taunt is basically just, you know, you can throw it on for fucking free. It, it's useless, except in raids. Like, in PvP, it is complete and utter garbage because there's no point in taunt in PvP. For now, at least. Who knows, it might change later on, but at least for now, it, it, there there is none. Now, the good thing is, is that that little motherfucker just use the, uh, just use Brain Dead, please reactivate. It just used Insubstability Taunt, so at most, he's yeah, that, yeah, grip ton of shields. Which is annoying. At least it wasn't ton of shields, though, because that would have done extra damage that we don't fucking need. Damn, that didn't land. Uh, honestly, that would have been cut, that would have been neat to see that land, because that honestly would have been good, simply because Scorp does a decent amount of damage, even with shields up. And no one here is armor, so... It just all depends on what exact... I think he's targeting Mega... Yep, because everyone else is, I think, 4,500 health. I think maybe Para has 4,200? I know Akra has 4,500, though. I think Bajad does, too. Oh, let me check on that real fast. Oh, where the fuck is it? There it is. Okay, yeah, it also has 4,500. I think Para has 4,200. Not totally sure on that. But I know it's something around there. But uh, here we go. Open that up. Oh damn, no, it's four thousand. What the fuck? It's four thousand three hundred fifty. Odd. Uh, let's see. Obviously, we're just a heal. The one, the the few times is actually good. In a fucking raid. I mean, I don't mind. It's at least good there. So. I mean, yeah, it's also decent in PvP, but at the same time, it's just, number one, where the fuck does it come from, and number two, what? Oh, did, uh, he, no, actually, I did buy Vasa Dodge, because there was no fucking way that he got rid of that, uh, just one turn. That's, so, I hate that, I hate that, damn. Uh, I could, I honestly could either distract here, or I could just go Rampage. What is... Let me wait for... Let's see what either does. Alright. Yeah, we all attack, so... I'll just kill this bitch. I mean, Spix is already slower, so... We're cleansed afterwards. We're good there. So, now the only issue would be next turn, and... So, Group Ferocity Strike, honestly, wouldn't have been a bad choice, but Group Cleansing Strike is definitely the best choice here, because no DOT, so... Win, win! Holy shit. Oh, well, there goes his fucking life. Uh, and I think Swix actually kills him here. Uh, what the fuck? Bajad has bleed resistance? Excuse me, what the fuck? Yeah, what the hell? It's bleed resistance, sun immune, and vulnerable immunity. Where the hell does he get that from? Like, it gets deep. I see where vulnerable comes from. I guess you could argue that stun comes from the mix of Edmonto's pin immunity and Bajad's diesel immunity and try and make up for that by giving it 100% stun. But then why the fuck does it have bleed? How the hell do you get that? I'm so confused. Especially on something that's already fairly good against bleed, having two heals... Well, it doesn't have Grip Cleansing Strike, but still. It has two heals, which usually can easily just remove bleed. So, why does bleed resistance... I really don't know. I, I definitely wouldn't want pin or, you know, distract resistance. Maybe just throw on D-cell resistance for bleed? It's weird that it has bleed in general. It's actually kind of tanky. Although, I will say, I do kind of wish it had some kind of tank... Like, put the greater on the on the group heal, then trade out that greater emergency heal for some kind of attack. Like, 
I don't think Waldon now has group cutting uh, group resilient impact, so maybe group resilient rampage. Let make resilient strike. Pro, uh, superior vulnerability, or at least some kind of ver version of superior strike. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling on at this point, but seriously, like there's a lot of cool ideas, especially in the legendaries, and they're just kind of shit. Then again, there's also some really good ideas that are overpowered as fuck. And then there are just ideas that are overpowered as fuck. We have plenty of all three. I think. Uh. Oh shit, I am doing no da- Oh, no. I'm- okay. I'm doing damage, good. <laughs> I was worried for just a small second because, uh... I was fully distracted, I think, for there for just a second. Or at least enough to where that motherfucker didn't die. Right? Again, best move right fucking here. Fierce impact. I want to go sink us up. Like, really. It, it, uh, it's one of the few legendaries that honestly really definitely... Well, not one of the few, but it's definitely on the, on the receiving end of getting a fucking buff and meta. Although I will say, it really shouldn't get a hybrid for a while. I mean, yeah, I know mega hybrids are a thing, but those should be like the lowest fucking priority of getting hybrids is other super hybrids. So that's, you know, get Anchor, get Ankyla De... Well, hold on. Ankylosaurus. Oh, Ankylosaurus. Fuck. I cannot brain today for I have to fucking dumb. Jesus Christ. So... Honestly, Ankylosaurus, get that bitch a hybrid. Diamondactylus, get that bitch a hybrid. Why the hell was Ankylodactylus not fucking Anki Gen 2 or Anki? And Diamondactylus, what the fuck was that? That was just bad I <laughs> That was just why. Why would you waste that? That was perfect. That was so perfectly set up. I mean, it's not complaining. It's a decent legendary. It's fairly balanced. But at the same time, come on! This is this is just bullshit. This is what the fuck. There, there's such a perfect opportunity for Diamond Dactylus to get a hybrid here, and yet what the hell? It didn't. Why? Why must? Why must you hurt me in this way? I don't use the holy shit. He got the stun. <laughs> fuck the hell! What the hell? He has a ninety percent fucking stun resistance, and either just managed to fucking. Bulldoze through that and just say, screw you. <laughs> Don't do damage this turn. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Get fucked. And, and my god, the, the, the man fucking did that. And I can kill him this turn with, with fierce impacts. He is fucked. He is dead. <laughs> he is just a dead motherfucker. Beep, beep. And just like that, we how how the fuck do we win this? We have one of the worst the worst legendaries in the fucking game, and we somehow won this, and also with this fucking ragtag team just cobbled together in like five minutes. How the hell did this even work? All right, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.